So let's check out the top four keto pasta substitutes or keto spaghetti substitutes you should know about. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's the Keto King here. This is a channel where I find or create keto recipes that actually work so you can stop wasting your time and money and to make sticking to your keto lifestyle that much easier. And today we're gonna do a short but extremely important video. I'm gonna show you my top four keto spaghetti substitutes or keto pasta substitutes right here. Yes, there are a lot of great keto options here if you've got that craving. So let's check out the top four keto pasta substitutes or keto spaghetti substitutes you should know about. One of the best substitutes for keto spaghetti or keto pasta is keto pasta or keto spaghetti. I've done an awesome keto pasta recipe. You can take a look in the top right hand corner of your screen over there. Go check out that video. Here's a frozen one that I still had in my freezer. I made this into a fettuccine, but that keto pasta recipe is so versatile. You could make a keto fettuccine, you could make keto lasagna, you could make keto pasta. Really the options are almost endless with that keto pasta recipe. So go check out that video. I'll also include a link in the description box below. Sure, it does take a bit of effort, but you can make extra just like I've got here, freeze it, and then you can use it again later. The number two keto spaghetti substitute or keto pasta substitute is cognac spaghetti or cognac pasta. This is one I have over here. And I'll put a link in the description box where you can get these on Amazon. That's where I got this one and the other ones like this. You get a keto rice, a cognac rice substitute as well. There are some pros and cons to this keto pasta substitute or this keto spaghetti substitute. Let's run through some of the cons. One, it kind of smells when it comes out of this packet. You really need to rinse it nicely under some water and get your hands in there and try and get rid of that smell. Second con, it really doesn't absorb much flavor, right? So if you're cooking it in a keto pasta or a keto spaghetti recipe, it doesn't really take up too much of the flavor. You can get a little bit in there, but not a whole lot. Some of the pros of this keto spaghetti here, this cognac keto spaghetti, is it's just 10 calories for a third of this bag. So this entire bag is just 30 calories. And of those 30 calories, it's just four grams of fiber. It's a zero gram net carb product. It's also gluten-free, soy-free, and of course, as I said, high in fiber, and it's suitable for vegans. So this will probably tick a lot of boxes for most people. Also, it is incredibly convenient, right? You just make up any regular keto pasta, keto spaghetti recipe. You just throw this in, try and cook it in a bit with whatever sauce or whatever meat you're making with this. And Bob's your uncle. You've got a keto spaghetti recipe or a keto pasta recipe ready in an instant. Seriously, I keep these in the cupboard at all times. You can't beat the convenience. The number three keto spaghetti or keto pasta substitute is good old zucchini. That's right guys, zucchini is actually really versatile in keto recipes. I'll put a link to a keto chocolate cake that I did on my channel over there and it uses zucchini inside. Don't tell anyone because they won't know that there's zucchini in there. It just adds some amazing moisture to it. Of course, some amazing micronutrients too. So go check that one out. That's just a side bit. But using these as keto spaghetti substitutes is really easy. First, you're just gonna cut off the ends of your zucchini like that. Then you're gonna grab yourself a spiralizer. Now, if you haven't invested in one of these, you need to do it now. Seriously guys, these are lifesavers, not expensive. I put some links in the description box below where you can get these from Amazon. Seriously, it'll be an excellent investment for you. You simply attach the zucchini to the spiralizer, push it in, and you give this a turn. And what comes out is some zucchini noodles, or what people like to call it, zoodles. And look how easy this is, guys. 
board sliding around because I'm actually, I have it on the cutting board. I should have just stuck it onto the floor with these pads here. You end up with this funny looking dude over here, but of course you also end up with your beautiful zoodles. And look at that. How good does that look? Then these spiralizers usually come with multiple attachments. Now this is a smaller spaghetti attachment and this one's a slightly bigger one. So let's pop in the bigger one here. And we'll cut up a second zucchini. This will work a lot better now that I've suctioned it down to the counter. So just push on it and start turning. Again, another funny dude that's left over. And then these are your noodles or your zoodles or your keto noodles or your keto spaghetti, whatever you damn well want to call it. This is an excellent substitute for your keto spaghetti. And then to cook those zoodles is pretty easy. There's a whole lot of ways, each with their pros and cons. You can simply throw them into your keto pasta or keto spaghetti dish that you're making and cook it in there. You can boil them, you could steam them, you can oven fry them even, and of course you can pan fry them. So lots of ways to cook it. You can just experiment and find out the way that you like it the best, but still really quick, super easy to make. And of course you're getting in a vegetable, which is what I love about these vegetable keto pasta or keto spaghetti substitutes because you're getting in those amazing micronutrients. Mm. And number four for the best keto pasta or keto spaghetti substitutes is, drum roll, Mr. Spaghetti Squash. Now, this spaghetti squash is exceptionally tiny because I must be out of season, right? Usually they're much bigger, but nonetheless, this would work still. Spaghetti squash as a keto spaghetti substitute is seriously one of my favorite of all time. This guy is also really easy to prepare. I have a video showing exactly how to prepare spaghetti squash. Take a look in the top corner of your screen over there. But as a real quick highlight on how to do it, all you do, cut it in half, take out the seeds, paint a little bit of olive oil on there, turn it upside down on a baking sheet in the oven. And I tell you what, it comes out with this beautiful golden color and some caramelized color on it too. Mm, it is amazing. And then you just use it as you would a regular spaghetti, but obviously this is a keto spaghetti substitute for that. Put on your plate, put your toppings on, and it tastes fantastic. So if you haven't tried spaghetti squash, go ahead and try that now. So those are my top four keto spaghetti substitutes or keto pasta substitutes that I use the most in my household. I know there's a ton more other keto pasta or keto spaghetti substitutes. Let me know what your favorites are or if I've completely missed one and I really should have included it, let me know in the comment section below. I love chatting to you guys and it'll be of course helpful to everyone who watches this video. So if you enjoyed this video, like it, Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss awesome new keto recipes on my channel. And of course, keep it keto.